The course that I'll be co-teaching with Charlotte Watts for Yoga Campus entitled Yoga for Stress, Burnout, Fatigue, including Long Covid. So this course is really aimed at, to be honest, anyone that's working with people in the healthcare field. So that might be, you might be a yoga teacher, you might be training to be a yoga teacher. You might be working in the more traditional um, healthcare sector. You might be a doctor, you might be a GP, you might be a nurse, occupational therapist. You might be working also in the um, what's called alternative or let's say traditional healing methodologies, maybe an acupuncturist or working in traditional Chinese medicine. Or you might be working with people um, as a, in the psychotherapy field. So the course is really open to anyone and everyone who is working with people with a healthcare slant, if you like. Um, there's been an increasing recognition, particularly in the psychotherapy field, that you know we need to work. There's a need to work with the whole person. So, you know, if you're just doing talk therapy on its own, it's going to only have a certain amount of benefits. So, bringing in the body and mind practices, and indeed the breath practices, are so crucially important. Um, and so, really, the course is really open to anyone and everyone who is um, working with people who are undoubtedly going to be being affected by stress. We see that stress is an increasing issue that modern day humans are having to grapple with. Um, the World Health, Health Organization has talked about stress in terms of it being the second leading cause of disability globally. I mean, it's a huge, huge issue. Um, and of course, now we have post the um, advent of COVID, we now have not only you know, a huge number of people already living with um, chronic fatigue syndrome, sometimes called ME, something like 125,000 people, mostly women in the UK. But we now have something like 2 million people on top of that now living with symptoms of long COVID. And the largest symptom of long COVID, of course, as we know, is fatigue. And in fact, there's a huge crossover, massive crossover between the symptoms, between um chronic fatigue syndrome, ME and long COVID. So the practices in the practices and not just the practices, not just the, the physical breath, body, mind practices, but also there are 10 pre-recorded uh, presentations or lectures um, that form part of this course, all really go to help to inform all of us in whichever way we're working with, uh, with people. Um, to give us a much better and deeper understanding of the causation, the, the ways in which stress, burnout and these fatigue conditions can play out in a, in a, in a body-mind structure um, and giving us tools to help, to help those that we're working with. But of course, the work really is, you know, the work begins here, begins with us because we all, we all, we're all affected by stress. We're all affected by stress on a daily basis. Stress is part of life. Stress is important. We need it. But of course, it, when it becomes the sea we swim in and when it becomes normalized in the way that it has in modern day Western societies, um, and then the implications that has for our health and well-being, we all need to really take some responsibility and um, have, you know, really use the tools that are taught, that we're so lucky to have in the yoga toolbox to help to really um, address, you know, what has become really an epidemic of stress before it gets to the place that we actually are then um, symptomatic. Of course, once it has reached that place of being symptomatic, then it, it's often, unfortunately, the case that many of the classes or the ways in which yoga is taught in modern day Western uh, models or systems is maybe not appropriate and oftentimes is can even be harmful. So, you know, we are seeing an increasing number of people, as I'm sure you are, in whichever field it is that you're working in, whether it is a yoga teacher or in other other um, modalities, an increasing number of people coming along with you know symptoms of you know extreme stress, acute stress, burnout, fatigue, and so the you know the vast majority of classes that are taught, yoga classes that are taught, are often not appropriate, and we need to think about ways in which we can modify. Um, and adapt our teaching uh, repertoire so that we can include 
um, people with these conditions. Of course, there will be, there is also the need f to set up specialist uh, classes for those who have symptoms that are quite advanced. Um, and of course, we cover that during the course. And indeed, you know, I myself and, and Charlotte, my co-teacher, we both run regular classes, but also specialist classes to really accommodate um, this client group which is, as we've said, as I've already said, is, is an increasing, increasing number of people. So really the, class, the, the course is really open to, to anyone and everyone. And we invite, um, even if yoga isn't going to be your main um, way of um, helping, shall we say, or assisting or facilitating a healing journey for those that you're working with, it's an incredibly powerful addendum to whichever modalities you might be using and of course the work you know as I said really does it's it's an inside job so to speak so particularly if you are working in the healthcare field which you know has its own set of problems and indeed is in a highly stressful environment highly stressed environment so of course all the tools all everything that you will learn in this course is 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 entirely and absolutely appropriate for your own practice so that you can stay resourced um, and stay replenished so that you are then hopefully not going to become <laughs> um, full prey to let's say you know that the 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 possibility of overwhelm I mean of course we can all we can all feel overwhelmed but to have the tools and the practices available to you in the moment to resource you so that you are able to stay present and available for those that you're working with. So yeah, look forward to you joining us.